Okay, continuing with the Betaflight F3 video series, now let's talk about connecting a receiver to it. First, you need to understand that this does not support PWM receivers, so if you do have that type of receiver, you will have to get something different. Now we need to locate the UART ports. We've got RX3 and TX3, which means this is UART number 3. Then here we have TX and RX1, so this is UART number 1. and over here we have uh, UART number two. Also find uh, some ground and power pins. We've got a ground pin here, five volts here. On these UARTs we've got ground and five volts, ground and five volts. For you Spectrum satellite receiver guys, um, some of those receivers require 3.3 volts. If you power with five volts then they're probably going to fry. And if you look right here, you will see ground 5 volts or 3.3 volts and then there's another pad here so you guys will be using these three pins if you look at these pads on the right side uh, this is your 3.3 volt pad you will take your soldering iron and connect the pad on the right to the middle pad to basically connect them to one another bridge them and you will now get 3.3 volts coming out of this pin um, and then you'll just you'll place your signal wire on this pin just keep in mind that this signal pin is tied into the receive for UART number two. So if you are using one of those receivers on this pin, you cannot use this pin or UART number two for anything else. When I made this video, I completely forgot about you guys using PPM. Uh, for you guys, it's pretty simple. Just look above the DSM2 pin and you'll see the pin labeled PPM. Just run your ground, five volts, and signal wire to the PPM pin and uh, I'll show you what to do in beta flight once we get there. Just keep in mind that PPM does not use a UART so a lot of the stuff I say in this video does not apply to you. So now hopefully everyone has figured out what UART they want to use and uh, how they're going to power it. So let's connect it. Let's just say I choose to use UART number three. Um, really no reason why I can use any of the three uh, but I, I gotta pick one and I pick this one. So I've got my signal going to RX3, my power wire going to 5 volts, and then the ground wire going to ground. Now for you guys that have telemetry receivers, let's just say like this uh, FreeSky XSR, and you've got this yellow wire, which is smart port telemetry, this also has to go to a UART and not just a UART, but a transmit pin on a UART. I know we use this receive pin to connect the receiver to the UART, which leaves the transmit pin remaining, but you cannot use uh, telemetry and, uh, basically you can't put both on the same UART. UART's going to do one thing at a time, and we are already using this one for the receiver. So take that telemetry wire and place it on either TX1 or uh, TX2. Now let's take our USB cables and plug them in. With this flag controller, the USB will not only power the flag controller but also the receiver uh, because it's providing 5 volts to every single 5 volt pin on the board. If you haven't already bound your receiver, then go ahead and do that. And then once you have it bound, we can continue. If you don't know how to bind your receiver or if you need additional information, uh, if you have any free sky transmitter or receivers or uh, Eternity, then look in the description below. You'll find a link to all of my playlists, and I've actually made playlists for uh, many different receivers and transmitters. Um, except for you Spectrum guys. I, I have not picked up a Spectrum transmitter yet, so you're kind of on your own. Next we want to go to the Ports tab, and because I placed my receiver signal wire on UART3, I will turn on Serial RX for UART3. I will also turn off Serial RX for UART2, because I'm not using it. And it just comes turned on by default. Uh, now if you are using telemetry, then for the UART that you place your telemetry wire on, come under telemetry output, and then choose what type of telemetry your receiver uses. Uh, for you FreeSky guys, I know this is a little confusing, but FreeSky is actually for the analog receivers, like the D4R2. Um, but for any X series of receiver, like the XSR, uh, the X4RSB and those, then it's going to be smart port. 
For you PPM guys, you don't have to select a serial RX because your signal wire is not on a UART, so just leave all those turned off. And uh, if you are using like a D4R2, like I said, you're going to use free sky telemetry instead of smart port. So after you've uh, set up your receiver and telemetry, then click save and reboot. Next let's go to configuration, scroll down, and under this receiver box, the majority of us are using serial based receivers, so choose that. And then down here you need to choose what type, uh, whether it's SBUS, IBUS, uh, if you have a spectrum receiver, then it's probably going to be the 2048, if not, then 1024. Uh, I'm using IBUS, so I'll select that. You PPM guys, all you have to do is select PPM and that's it, you're done. Save and reboot. Just a quick edit, I uh, forgot to mention, if you scroll down to the bottom of the configuration tab, you'll see where telemetry by default is turned on. You want to leave that turned on because if you ever turn it off, then telemetry is not going to work. Unless you're not using telemetry, then you can turn it off. Now let's turn on the transmitter and then go to modes, or my bad, receiver, and move your sticks around. Roll pitch, y'all, and throttle should all be moving on your screen. If not, then something went wrong. Either you uh, solder the wire onto the wrong pad on the flight controller, or you didn't turn on Serial RX for the correct UART, or, or you haven't bound it correctly, or the firmware is conflicting between the transmitter and receiver. It could be a, a host of problems. Like I said, uh, just look in the description at my different playlist. I've got a Tyrannus QX7 series of videos, Tyrannus X9D, uh, the Turnergy Evolution, uh, so you'll find all the information you need. But that does it for this one. Look in the description to find the Betaphy F3 playlist, where next I will show you how to connect your camera and video transmitter. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.